you just purchased a maximum Wi-Fi enabled weather instrument. If you would like to monitor your weather information on Weather Underground, you do need to go into their website and set up an account. Once you're on the Weather Underground site, click on the join icon to the right. You will need to provide them with a valid email address and you'll set up a password. You agree to the Weather Underground Terms of Use and you sign up for a free account. Once registered, you will go into your profile and you will go into your devices in order to set up your personal weather station. Once in the member settings screen, you will select add new device. In the add new device page, you will select a personal weather station. You will scroll to the bottom to select other and click on next. Weather on the ground will then require the device location. Type in the address of the installation and select from the drop down menu your location. Select next and you will name your weather station. You will enter the height of your temperature sensor above the ground. Select whether or not you want to make your forecast more accurate by sharing your location. You will then be registered as a Weather Underground user. You will be assigned your personal weather station, station ID, and your station key. Be sure to write that down, copy them. You will need that information after you install your weather instrument and when you set up the captive portal. Once the communication has been established, the status will go from offline to online. That's when you'll know that all your weather information is there. Prior to final installation, you always want to bench test any instrument that you'll be installing. This is the Wi-Fi sensor interface. This is the one we will set up first. Once you plug in your unit after it's been wired to the sensors, you will wait until you see the orange light on. That indicates that the captive portal has been launched. So you'll be able to find it in the Wi-Fi networks named maxnet two letters. The two letters or numbers will be random and you will connect to that network. It'll ask you for a security key. The security key for that as listed in the captive portal instructions will be maxnet zero zero all lower cases. Once that network connection has been established, the captive portal screen will appear on your device. You will select the Wi-Fi that you'll be connecting to. Enter the Wi-Fi password. And you're gonna select which sensors are currently installed with your Wi-Fi interface. We're installing a Maestro, so we will be selecting the wind features. This is where you'll enter the weather underground parameters for station ID and the station key password. It is case sensitive. Scroll down. You do not want to disable the local area network broadcast and you'll be setting up uh, a main source option. Your interface, once it connects to the network, will change from orange to two green lights, indicating that you have full connection. Once the sensor interface has been set up and you have two green lights, you're then going to move on to the Wi-Fi instrument interface. The Wi-Fi interface is going to receive all the information that the sensor interface is now inputting into your network and sending it to the maximum weather instruments. You will follow the same procedure as you did for the uh, Wi-Fi sensor interface. Once the LED on the instrument interface has changed from red to orange, it'll launch another captive portal 
onto your network. You will see the MaxNet network appear on your available networks. The security key for the interface is the same, all lowercase, MaxNet00, zero, zero, and that will launch the captive portal. You will enter once again the network that the interface is connected. An important note is that both the Wi-Fi sensor interface and the Wi-Fi instrument interface both have to be in the same network in order for the system to operate properly. You will select the sensors being recorded. For the instrument interface, you do not want to enter the Weather Underground credentials. You already have done so for the sensor interface. Adding it more than once can cause the system to crash and you'll be unable to upload information to Weather Underground. Go right on to saving the information. The instrument interface will connect to the network. Once it's connected, both the sensor interface and the instrument interface will start communicating. The instrument will change state from the no interface message to the current sensor information screen. Once both systems are recording two green lights, that means you have full communication between the interfaces and the network. You can perform the test by spinning the sensors and observing that you're getting a reading on the instrument. Once your captive portal is set up, you can go back into your Weather on the Ground page and you will see your station name and its assigned number. When you go on to final installation, there will be no setup required on the interfaces. After giving it a couple of minutes to connect to the home's network, everything should operate properly.